W, you guys. <laughs> All right, here we are together in the wreck, and I'm gonna put my wreck sweats on just so I can see. There is nothing like the atmosphere of opening night in the NBA. Grant, the players get just as pumped up as the fans for the first game of the season? I think they do. I mean, everybody, players, coaches, organization, fans, everybody gets excited for opening night. It's impossible not to. All the work these players put in over the offseason, the training camp preparation, it pays off right here and now. So a look at our starters for the Wizards. We've got Davis. Todd's out there with Daniel Gafford. Then there's Bradley Beal, and it's Booker in at the one. Here's Todd. Pass to Davis. Gafford in the post, covered by MP. Gafford passes to Davis. Five to shoot. Pure from three-point range. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. Outside, Williams. Now MP. He's guarded by Gafford. Here's MP. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. I like the attacking mindset from MP. He gets deep inside there, and then he gets to work. Washington has gone one or two from three-point land so far. Oh, stolen by Moran. And now the Grizzlies on the run. Here's Williams. And Williams punches it home. And that's what happens when you don't take care of the ball. Hey, that makes the turnover hurt even more. And the gamble paying off. Now here's Beal. Pass to Todd. And here's Beal. Clock at six. Offline with a three. Right now, firing on all cylinders. Yeah, there's a nice flow to this offense right now. And you can tell how much these fans here in Memphis love their Grizzlies. Yeah, I mean, B.A., ever since they moved here in 2001, these fans have been so loyal. And the players are also enjoy playing here. Memphis is a fun-loving city with great barbecue and a lot of character. Now here's Beal. Outside Booker. Here's Gafford, and the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. The defense there doing whatever they can to protect the rim. That free throw, no good. Daniel Gafford at the line for two. So neither attempt will fall that time for him. The Grizzlies have gone three of three so far from the floor. Here's Nash. MP left side. Ooh, he's looking comfortable now. Three for three. And I love their energy so far. They're now four for four from the field. Outside Booker. Up top, Davis. And another miss by Washington. And so far, the team just one of five in that rim shrinking. Here's Moran. Here's MP. Good work there as it goes. MP's got eight. <laughs> this run has been fueled by their Matador defense. About three minutes gone here in the first quarter. And the Wizards call time here. They're getting their first look of the season at the Grizzlies in this one. We see these teams face off only twice a year. Last year, each one won. Well, if I had a calendar, I would have circled this one. But I love it when they get together. Last year, they split the two games between them. And I'll bet their battles are just as tightly contested this year. Beal outside. Outside Davis. Pass to Booker. Williams against Davis. Another miss. He's one for four from the field. Oh, can't punish the defense for leaving him open that time. That's a frustrating miss for a really steady jump shooter. Here's MP. And MP throws it down. They've shown so much energy right from the start, particularly on the offensive end. Yeah, if you walked in at any point during this game to watch five minutes of play, one team played harder. 
We know who that was. Now here's Beal. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. To win the drought. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. You know, for team owners, it often seems best not to take too active a role in basketball decisions. But Grant, you're a team owner. How do you feel about this? Well, it's a tough situation, B.A. Many of these owners have made tremendous amounts of money building their fortunes, of course, being very hands-on with their business. But basketball is a different kind of business. Success is not always linear. And sometimes, as an owner, you're not an expert when it comes to this particular business. So it's interesting kind of being engaged but not being too hands-on and letting your people do their job to the best that they can. The son of an NBA player, Jaron Jackson Jr. I actually played a bit with his dad, Jaron Sr., in Orlando back in the early 2000s, which means I'm old. And the basket by Nash. Yeah, their defense is starting to wear down. That's three straight buckets at the rim. And that streaking rack attack is the mobile one drive. Yeah, staying with it and looking to expand this margin. Hard-nosed takes like that will certainly help. Knocked loose. Pass to Gafford. Shoots a fadeaway. The rebound by MP. MP's got four rebounds in the game. And the Jacksons just the latest father-son NBA duo. Lots of great ones there, Grant. So true, B.A. The Curry family might be the best ever. The Berries, including our own colleague Brent, the Thompsons with Clay in the league currently. Just some incredible NBA families to admire. Here's Booker following the bucket by the Grizzlies. Outside Davis. Booker against Moran. Shot clock at six. The shot by Todd, no good. Well, that's not a shot he's ever going to pass up, and he shouldn't. Despite the miss, no defender anywhere near him. He's got to shoot that one. Washington's gone one of four from deep. Beal, the pass to Booker. Here's Todd. Williams defending. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. All right, guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for Memphis. Well, the big guys in the post are outworking their opponent in effort and physicality. They just simply want it more. So much good energy and flow tonight, and that has really come out of great ball movement. Guys have been open, and as soon as they are, they get the ball. Now here's Moran. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Back to MP. Good, and the setup by Moran. Man, that's now 10 straight points in the paint. I'm not sure what's happened to their defense. Pass to Chandler. Back to Beal. Here's Warren. Unloads from 13. And the rebound goes to the Grizzlies. So far, rebounding has been a focal point for them. Oh, Beal picks his pocket. Inside. Here's Chandler. Oh, MP with a block. Emphatic defense from MP. That'll fire up the bench for sure. And what a phenomenal replay of that impressive rejection. Yeah, good offense comes from great defense. This lead is only getting stronger with plays like that. Both teams will make substitutions. Here's Chandler. The Wizards with another miss. Coaches loathe empty possessions. You got to be able to hit the easy ones. MP shot is good. Building a big advantage early with a terrific all-around performance. Well, if I was baking up a lead, I'd add two ingredients. One would be playing smart. The other one, playing selfless. They've done that tonight. Serve it up. So it's Washington now. After the basket by Memphis. And here's Kispert from the arc. And the rebound goes to the Grizzlies. MP's got five rebounds in the game. From deep, Moran kept alive. MP. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It's on TJ Warren. Well, with his scoring ability, MP is a challenging defensive assignment for anybody trying to guard him. 
And both free throws good for MP. Washington has gone one for five from three-point range. A cold start. Pass to Chandler. Down low. Here's Todd. That shot is off. Good D by MP. Boy, this could snowball if they continue to put up points. I can't say enough about their performance. And Morant gets it to go. <laughs> An outstanding first quarter from the field. And Washington with possession. Morris outside. Here's Kispert. Here's Chandler. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Oh, no good. The dry spell continues. They're playing with a lot of energy tonight. We can see that in their dominance on the glass. Really taking charge of the game, largely with a detailed interior attack. Well, how good have they been on the inside tonight, just getting down into the painted area and just dominating, controlling that spot. Washington calls timeout. Oh, my. Their coach does not look happy, and I can guess why. Their interior defense has been struggling. No, they're not preventing them from scoring, and if you can get to a high-efficiency shot on the floor, and that's the paint, you just keep going. 156 left to play in the first. Morris outside. Pass to Todd. Now here's Morris from deep. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. And you got to try to scramble the Jets right here and get that guy off the sweet spot. That's one of the best three-point shooters in the league. And MP throws it down. Great communication there sets up MP for the jam. He's right on cue to catch the pass. Pass to Kispert. 116 left in the first quarter. Three-pointer. Morris can't hit. They've got a commanding lead. It just seems like everything is going their way. Here's MP. Warren with the rebound. Here's Chandler, hounded by Moran. Morris on the wing. Right side, Warren. Puts it up from 12. Tipped. To the middle. Here's Moran. And then Moran with the dunk. Wow. I'll tell you, such an advantage having a playmaker who can get up to the rim and finish. Now that is what every team wants. Like to see that assertiveness, especially from the guy who's going to orchestrate your offense. Here's Kispert. After the basket by Memphis. Pass to Todd. Poke loose. Just four to shoot. And here's Moran. Over to the left wing. Here's MP. And MP throws it down. And the defense running out of things to do against MP here tonight. Just no stopping him. Chandler. Boom! He jams it straight down. And he goes right after the guy who just scored on him. Oh, he made sure to return the favor. And so it's Memphis with plenty of breathing room. 23 points to end the quarter. They've done well to disrupt the opposition, playing inspired defense. Back to the game after this break. We welcome you back to second quarter action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And the Grizzlies have been rolling along, haven't they? <laughs> On the front foot, really right off the tip. They've been ruthless offensively. Well, just taking it right at the opposition and the other team right now. No answers and no way to slow them down. And so in the game for Washington, we've got T.J. Warren, also Daniel Gafford out there. Bradley Beal's out there with Davis. And it's Booker in at the point guard position. All right, let's get a report from Allie. 
Thanks, B.A. Bradley Beal played for Coach Greg Popovich with the U.S. national team, and Pop said, quote, he's hard to keep up with. His balance and movement are very impressive. He stops on a dime, can pull up and shoot. That, along with his excellent footwork, are the most impressive things for me. Brian? Yeah, great breakdown there, Allie. Thank you. Grant, it's a shooter's league, and we're seeing more and more big men float out to the perimeter and knocking them down. Well, B.A., the game has evolved, and the shooting, particularly from the bigs, is fantastic. But, you know, I wish the bigs had a little bit more diversity. I don't mind shooting from the perimeter, but every once in a while, go mix it up and take advantage of your size mismatch in the paint. Beal with a nice job, a little bit pesky that time inside. Free throw drops for Beal. At the line for two. And Beal drops them both. They found their rhythm at the free throw line this quarter, trying hard to make up ground. Pass to Nash. MP with it. He's guarded by Gafford. Here's MP. And he drops in the layup off the glass. MP's got 24 points. And you know Coach loves seeing his offense operate at this level. Great passing out there. Now Davis. This is one where the second foul is probably going to cost you some minutes in this game. Beal, the pass to Booker. A shot from the high post. That one's in there on the nice assist from Beal. And Beal continues to be that guy where he opens your eyes with his playmaking. Pass to MP. Banked it in off the glass. MP's got four points now in the quarter. Their defense just falls apart once the ball goes inside. Outside Booker. Quarter two and about two minutes in. Pass to Warren. Oh, it's blocked by Jackson. The attention to detail on defense. Jackson reads shooters well and knows when to go for blocks. Oh, and the dunk by MP. Yeah, undersized guys with athleticism do these kind of things, playing above the rim. Love to see him get up like that. Beal, the pass to Davis. Warren with the ball. The shot comes out. Oh, and Jackson with the defensive effort. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. MP, the pass to Jackson. Second personal foul. First team foul. And that one falls for Jackson. At the line for Harris. Jen Jackson Jr. Taking two shots. And so Jackson nails both of them. And we're just over two and a half minutes into the second. Oh, stolen by Moran. He's got a clear path. Here's the floater. The rebound by the Wizards. Gafford's got six rebounds here tonight. It's not his best night from the field, but looking for other ways and finding them so he can chip in. And MP throws it down. Yes, sir. MP flushing that one down. The Wizards have gotten two of five shots to fall this second quarter. Outside Davis. Back to Booker. Throws it up high. Stole it away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt. Here's Williams. And Williams punches it home. And that was just moving the ball quickly. And he's rewarded at the end with the high percentage look. Yeah, the defense trying to do their best to slow him down. But when he gets room like that, you got to look out. Time called here. The Wizards decide to talk it over. MP really making a difference here. He just continues to deal damage inside. They've got to figure a way to slow him down. Beal, the pass to Booker. And just over three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Davis down low, working on Williams. The other team just looks more in sync and is riding the momentum. Well, the other team is scorching hot, and they come down on this end and can't find a way to get the Embers going. MP shot is off. Despite the miss, those are the kind of looks coaches hope to create. Here's Beal. Off the mark, and the drought continues. 
The Grizzlies have gotten five of seven shots to fall in the second. Here's Moran. And Gafford with the block. Beal outside. Davis finds Gafford. Shoots over Jackson. And another miss by Washington. Well, he wanted to keep that shot from getting blocked, but in the process, he gave it no chance of going in because of how unbalanced he was on the fade. Stolen by Gafford. Outside Booker. To the paint. Snatched away. Tipped away. Stolen by Davis. To the inside. Six on the shot clock. Pass to Booker. Here's Gafford. And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. A hard work on the offensive glass. You can see the coaching staff rise up and clap for that effort. Now here's Moran. He's got six. Daniel Gafford. MP getting it done for the Grizzlies. He's been an offensive force. Now with over 30 points after the quarter. Time for a quick break. Then back to... As we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it's been a runaway. Hey, you look at MP in this game. He's been everywhere. He's been a real difference maker today in terms of reeling in offensive boards. And the team appreciating all of that dirty work going on. His activity has been phenomenal. Jaron Jackson out there with MP. Then there's Ja Morant, and it's Williams in at the three spot. That's the five to begin the second half for Taylor Jenkins. Beal's gone one of five from the field. And here's Morant outside. Offensive rebound. Goes back up. MP shot is off. And the Wizards shooting just 24% in this one. Not great. And he'll take a trip to the line for two. Clearly got fouled on that shot. A guy who plays with great confidence, Grant. Davis is always looking to attack. Yeah, NBA, that's true at both ends of the floor. His competitive nature allows him to guard an opponent's best score and at the same time shoulder much of the offensive load. To the paint. Here's Jackson. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. He's off on the first. At the line for Memphis. Jaron Jackson. Good on the second one. Now here's Beal. Pass to Booker. Here's Davis. Here's Gafford, covered by MP. Down low. Here's Booker. Oh, stolen by Moran. And now the Grizzlies on the run. Here's Nash. Gafford grabs the miss. Gafford's got a rebound number 12 here already in the game. Coming out stone cold here. Sometimes the break will do that to you. We got to see that one again. That block was all out effort. Oh, now that was a block. Some much needed energy there to jumpstart them back into this game. Beal, the pass to Booker. Pass to Todd. Beal outside. Six to shoot from the high post. No matter what he's tried, it hasn't worked. Unfortunately, the team is suffering from that. Stolen by Booker. And here they go on a free run to the bucket. And Booker with the jam. And really showing the athleticism, flying solo. Yeah, why not? Show a little creativity, get inside, move that ball around, just make sure you score. Here's MP. The shot, no good. Nice D from Gafford. Might be time for the coaching staff to bust out a play for him to get going. 0 for 4 to start the half. Davis, the pass to Beal. 
Williams against Davis. Outside Booker. Shot clock at five. That one falls. Coming off Three. Davis' feed. Booker's got his third bucket of the night. That's just tremendous scoring instinct. So fun to watch him work in the half court. Jackson finds Williams. Now MP. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. Second personal foul. He's always played with that kind of veteran savvy. MP got the defender. The oldest trick in the book. Hits both from the stripe. Just over two and a half minutes gone by in the second half. It's Beal on the wing. Davis against Williams. Back to Beal. Outside Booker. And the Wizards with another three. Can't give those openings defensively. He'll just keep exploiting them. MP right side. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Daniel Gafford picks one up. Not just a great ball player, MP is also great in the community. The things that he does, the people he touches, it's really a great example for youngsters out there. Washington has gone two for two from deep here on the third. Outside Booker, back to Beal. Moran against Booker. Outside Davis. Six on the shot clock. From 12 feet. Here's Gafford. And it goes. And they want a second opinion on that call. The signal for the coach's challenge has been made. And even with the coach's challenge in place, we've seen so many of these personal foul calls still disputed even after the video review. There's no doubt there's going to be a gray area in a lot of these calls. But at least we have the option to take a second look so the officials can be sure they get it right. And they've made their decision. The call the will stand. Time out, time and as out. much as it hurts to lose a challenge, I think Coach would challenge that call again if he could. He really disagreed with the foul, and he's still peeved. Gafford, no good on that free throw. Williams against Davis. Williams passes to MP. No good there. And Washington the other way now. Looking ahead, they've got the Mavericks coming to town for their next one. It'll be a quick stop over at home before they have to get back out on the road. Gafford against MP. And it's Gafford missing. Hard to convert against that kind of defensive pressure. Those are all the little things about effort there. He just gets out there and contests, and that's just enough. And it's just executing at a high level. I mean, taking what the defense allows and putting in the work. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about, but it's importance to a team showing up here, running plays that turn into scores. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Ali LaForce. Well, guys, with the yearly roster moves, it might be hard for the casual fan to keep track. But Commissioner Silver said it's a necessary side effect. He said, quote, we tried to tie performance to pay in a closer way, and I think that's what you see with shorter contracts. Brian, more player movement has been the result. Yeah, good point, Allie. Thanks. That was a good call. The defense wasn't established. T.J. Warren, he's checked in for Todd. And it's the Grizzlies with the ball. And here's MP. Another shot. Gafford grabs the miss. Gafford's got his 16th rebound on the night. Davis, the pass to Beal. And Bradley Beal right there just using the force to get to the free throw line. 
And a chance to catch up on some numbers here, the scoring breakdown for the Grizzlies. They feel like they have an advantage inside, and so far they have done an excellent job exploiting it. And I feel like another part of tonight's game has been the hustle, the hustle points, getting up and down, getting second chances, getting transition opportunities. They've been fantastic in that area. Well, if he's going to keep shooting, they've got to run some plays for him. Screens, pick and rolls, anything they can do to get him started. Booker finds Gafford. Now here's Davis. And here's Booker, hounded by Moran. Booker can't get it to go. That's a shocker there. Did not expect him to miss from that range. He's got to be shooting close to 60% from there. Washington has gone two of three from outside so far in the third quarter. Pass to Beal. And here's Warren. Outside Booker. Driving inside. Ooh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. It's going to be on MP. That free throw misses. They're missing a chance to trim the lead by leaving points at the line. The Grizzlies making a switch here. Smith's checked in. Here's Morant. Six points for him. Pass to Moore. Now here's MP. He's covered by Warren. MP no good. It's been that kind of quarter for him. The shot has just been unreliable. And here's Kispert from the arc. Sinks the tray. Kispert's got six points. The three-point shooting has been on point here in the second half. Well, one thing I like about Corey Kispert is that he decided to do all four years in college, something you just don't see very often. Beyond the arc. Rebound by the Wizards. Ooh, he missed an easy chance to put some points on the board. He won't get a much better look at that kind of shot again here probably tonight. Memphis has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. And for some players, coming to the NBA early is a better route. Well, B.A., I would tell you, it usually is. But for Corey Kispert, he stayed the four years. He wanted to develop. He wanted to be a higher pick in the draft. He wanted to make sure he came in to plant his feet in the right spot. And that experience in college is going to benefit him. Pass to Warren. Outside Booker. Back to Warren. Just five on the clock. The Wizards need to get off a shot here. Chandler. Three-pointer, no good. And Memphis shooting has been great. 57% and finding ways to score consistently. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. And this is exactly what you expect of MP. He puts on his hard hat and hits you where it hurts. Washington making some changes. Farrell comes in for Gafford. And Lewis is subbed in for Booker. Well, he's putting his game right in the face of the defense right now and just driving into the paint to get contact. Here's Chandler. Pass to Farrell. Fires the three. Knocks it down from distance. Back-to-back -back threes, making their defense work on the perimeter a bit. Here's MP. And MP throws it down. We've watched Moran get so good at this. Instinctively spots the opening and feeds a really good shooter. Here's Kispert. Here's Chandler. Pass to Lewis. Floats one up. The rebound by MP. Well, the Grizzlies shooting a low 29% since halftime. 133 left in the third quarter. All night, they've asked him to shoulder the scoring load, and he is not disappointed. Washington has gotten 12 of their points this quarter from deep. Four of six. Pass to Kispert from the arc. And again, Washington with a triple. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. MP with it. He's covered by Warren. Here's MP. Oh, and the dunk by MP. <laughs> so sick, the vertical ability. That was flat out awesome. He has that effortless knack for getting to the hoop. Here's Kispert. Pass to Chandler. The three ball. Smith with the rebound. Smith's got five rebounds in the game. 
to the middle. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. It's on TJ Warren. At the line for your Grizzlies, MP, two shots. The first free throw is good. And both free throws good for MP. And Washington shooting 39% from the field in the third. Here's Chandler. Pass to Warren. Clock at six. Here's Farrell over MP. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. The first one falls. At the line for the Wizards. Taking two shots. No good on the second free throw. Memphis has gone 0 for 2 from outside here on the third. Inside. And a bit of a battle for the ball. And the officials signal a jump ball here. And the Grizzlies with possession here. Out to the right wing. Just three on the clock. And it's good on the lay-in. MP's got 18 points now here in the second half. MP getting it done for the Memphis Grizzlies. He had solid production this quarter with scoring and rebounding. More. The Wizards. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. <laughs> yeah, just shredding the defense with that feed. Zero chance to stop that. That's what great passing will do for you right there, dissecting the defense with that play. Well, there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. Fourth quarter on the court for the Wizards. We've got T.J. Warren, and it's Lewis in at the point. The Wizards shooting poorly, just 29% from the floor in this game. And the foul called on MP. That'll get him his fourth foul of the game. Now Warren. Pass to Lewis. Now here's Morris. And as the NBA becomes an increasingly global game, Grant, there's a component of international relations that has to come into it. What are your thoughts about this? Well, it can be tricky. I mean, it's a challenge. You have to respect people's cultures and way of doing business. But yes, the game, I believe, also can play a role in bringing cultures and, and different countries together over the love of the game of basketball. Morris outside. Here's Lewis. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. It's going to go on Andre Drummond. He Substitution on the court. for him making it all look too easy right now oh my god that was impressive how many guys can flush it like this man not many that's for sure he can really fly and the defense knows this somebody has to come over to contest the Wizards with another miss he just can't find a consistent way to score and this team could certainly use it Hayes the pass to MP MP is doubled Pass to Moore. Hayes with it. It's picked off. Three-pointer. Beal. Grizzlies with the rebound. MP's got his 20th rebound here tonight. To the middle. Stolen by Booker. Now Davis. Oh, that one's off. Still out of sync. Hayes with it. And Grant, you played on a Suns team whose training staff was renowned. 
Is that still a differentiator between teams, or has everybody caught up and on the same level now? You know, VA, I think everyone's caught up. You know, 15 years ago, the Suns training staff was ahead of their time. But now teams are all much more sophisticated. They understand injury prevention, rest, recovery, really aiding the players, and I think adding years for players on the back end of their careers. A new lineup here for Washington. Oh, MP with a block. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. No good on that one. MP at the line for two. And the second free throw is good. Washington has gone 0 for 3 here in the fourth. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. Warren with the ball. He's against Tillman. Oh, there's a killer two-hand slam. Yeah, that's a smart pass as T.J. Warren does a solid job finding the open man. MP left side. Off target at the rim. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Free throw good, and he Well, Grant, we're seeing players extend their careers. Often diet plays a big role. How important was that in your day, and how important do you think that is now? It's so important. The food you put into your body, the rest, the recovery, uh, all of that plays a role in extending your career and having great longevity along the way. Here's Farrell. And he gets the bucket. When you use it right, the pump fakes as effective a move as there is. Now here's Hayes. Pass to MP. And MP throws it down. Just such a terrific dunker. Man, born to fly, that's for sure. Here's Lewis. Some solid defense from Hayes. The Grizzlies shooting a terrific 56% so far in the fourth quarter. No good. Now the Wizards take it the other way. And the foul called on MP. That'll be foul number five on him. The Wizards shooting poorly at only 28%. Pass to Lewis. Here's Christie. Here's Lewis. He's defended by Hayes. From 12 feet. And misses it off the right side of the rim. And Memphis shooting a terrific 58% from the floor. Well, the scoreboard tells you everything you need to know about this one. A great showing here for the Grizzlies. And it was a big-time performance across the board. They looked like they were having fun out there, Grant. <laughs> yeah, B.A., it was almost like watching a cat play with a mouse. I mean, they did pretty much anything they wanted to do out there today. And so this win marks their first victory of the new year. And with this one all but in the record books, they set the tone in the first of what will be only two meetings between these teams. And when you look at the game, the one thing that helped fuel this team to victory was the efficiency for MP. Now just a force on the glass did a fantastic job crashing the boards and coming up with seemingly every rebound. Now here's Hayes, tightly guarded. Pass to MP. Amazing! Oh, he's been absolutely ridiculous in this game. B.A., it feels like he can't miss. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Here's Farrell. From downtown, the shot no good. They swipe it. Here's Lewis. And 
so Memphis takes this one by a big margin, showing that they're the far superior team. They win it going away. I'll tell you what, give it up for their fans. They love to watch this team dominate. You best believe they're all going home happy tonight. That concludes the first game of the NBA season. Alongside Brent Berry, Grant Hill, and Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson with our entire 2K crew thanking you for watching.